visibility today is about very little. Breakfast time and lunch in one. Face is red, I feel it all hot. We're in that part of the world again. Like I said, I was checking out the map because I am in a region. You know, it's parallel to that awesome northwestern part of Argentina in the mountains with Salta and all that. Well, on this side, I'm in Copiapo and you have the Copiapo volcano. And even further down the road, you have uh, Ojos del Salado, which is one of the highest points in the world pretty damn awesome region and I've been looking at it to go right there but not really prepared and we still got 600 k's to Antofagasta where I'm going to pick up a uh, second battery for the cannon and a USB charger so I only have one battery I can't charge it still got heaps to see we got to go to San Pedro Atacama Salt Lakes in Peru so I decided to leave that part to when I come down from Argentina I'll take some inland routes uh, on the way to Antofagasta now This has to be right, right? Man, the route's all screwed up on the map. I don't understand the thing. Okay, it's a little bit soft for this tire pressure. Finally figured out the route. Salado, this whole mine area here. The roads are messed up on the map. Yeah, this is some really soft stuff like that. And yeah, that's all not too bad, but I'm running him rock hard. So I'm gonna let uh, some uh, tire pressure down because if it stays like this, just feel a little bit better when you really hit those soft ruts. Yeah, that's more than enough. Oh, and I got uh, some water from the guy at the mine entry, so I feel a lot better now, riding in a desert. Now, mud is really bad for me, these tires.
this is what you get when you don't uh, take the highway, uh, the Ruta Cinco. It's areas like this that I do it for. Plus the highway is really boring. I try to avoid that when I can, but I will have to make time after to Antofagasta. You know, there's people that dream coming down the Pan American Highway, uh, doing the whole thing down. But I think uh, once you get here, you'll think twice about it. But it does slow me down. I could have been in Antofagasta by now if I wanted to. But uh, this is why you ride too, right? I would love to camp just, just here actually. But we're going to keep on riding. Just to cam the GoPro and I launch myself like a goddamn idiot because that real wheel is so slippery and hard. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's got a big ass. It's got a lot of heavy stuff on the on the back. Definitely creates a latency, just like the banniers did. I'm gonna pick this up. It's, it's harder than it looks because that big ass rock is in the way. This is silly. I'll confess too that I'm terrible at a slipping launch. This helps. Okay. Oh, she's a heavy bitch. All right, stuff is off. This looks so ridiculous. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Oh, I don't want to see the tank. Oh, okay. No dent. Tank bag actually saves it. Sweet Jesus! Mirror. Back. Fork's gonna need work. These taste the best in uh, kind of moments of uh, let's contemplate how I fucked up and I'm gonna sort it out. With an hour of daylight left, still 40 case of Salado. Well, you know, out here today, it's been pretty great, regardless of. This. I could have been cruising. I could have been cruising, but uh, so it goes. No, just trying to get to Bolivia. I can get a room, point that camera at me, make new videos. You know? <laughs> Awkward angle. <sighs> oh no, don't make me go to the other side. Ah. I don't want to waste battery on the camera, so now I have to get off for a second so I can turn it off. <sighs> Testing the alignment. Still, too much there, too much that way. There's another rock that we can use. moment when you wish you still had your largest sockets because the biggest one is 14 at the moment but uh, the fork has come up a bit oh don't don't miss that's better all right she's reasonably aligned bolts tight like uh, I won't mention it and uh, it's getting dark soon and it's all right, because the camp spot's over there. What do you know? It was here all along. Let's get over these big rockos. Oh, you big fuckers. There we go. Some 
sometimes home is near. <laughs> there it is. A bit knackered. Like I said, this arm is gonna let me know tomorrow. But uh can't complain about my uh, little temporary home here. Only downside of mucking about in the desert in the middle of nowhere is that no one will go like, hey bro, your light's on. Should turn that off. Here we go. Bad habit caught up with me again. Earplugs. I can still hear nothing and that's what I love about this. Something that's been really hard to put into words this last year. But after all that happened when I got here and then when I settled down, I got this uh, insane focus on something again. To do something, to put ideas in motion. Because ideas always come, they always come and then they go and then nothing happens. And that's the worst. You do that enough times, you want to change that. But I was in this, uh, in this great focus, which turned into obsession, which I kind of then forget the world around me. Slowly, I become very, very small. The work I did on a motorbike, the trip in the beginning, putting the videos in motion, learned heaps of things, made new conclusions, new ideas. You enter this, uh, this period again where I always conclude that I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I really don't. But then slowly the focus slipped away. I gotta recreate, I gotta create something, something new again. But that's why I wanna get to Bolivia. Got a little place. But yeah, at the end of the day, I don't know anything. And I'll hope to know uh, something again soon enough. Whatever that means. But you know, I have felt the most alive again in a while. Fucking life. <laughs>